Hello, in this video, I'll introduce to you the main cost that any food service manager has to monitor closely. We're having the case of a restaurant having 70 seats, serving 20,440 guests, and serving only dinner, and on each dinner he's having four employees or four servers. Also, we're having here the income statement or the profit and loss statement where we're having the sales and total sales of food and beverage, the cost of sales and the total cost of sales. Then we're having the controllable expenses. It means everything that it could be changed on the short run and also they can be known as variable cost. And we're having some other costs like occupancy cost, means rent, the interest, depreciation, in order at the end to have the restaurant profit. And here the restaurant profit before income tax. The first cost that we have to monitor is the food cost. And it's the cost associated with producing the menu items. Usually it's the largest or second largest expense category. So here, in order to calculate it, it's the food cost divided by the food sales. It means for every dollar that we are earning as revenue, we are paying 34 cents. As a rule of thumb, the food cost in a restaurant, it should be between 28 and 32%. However, it might change between restaurants. For example, a restaurant selling steak and uh, seafood might reach a food cost of 40%. Another restaurant with limited uh, menu <clears throat> and limited service, the food cost might be 25%. The second cost that we have to watch, it's beverage cost. And it's related to the sale of alcoholic beverages like beer, wine, liquor. It may also include the cost of ingredients necessary to produce these drinks, like cherries, limes, lemons, and carbonated beverages. In order to calculate it in our case, it's the beverage cost that we're having here divided by the beverage sales. It means every dollar that we are getting in revenue, for beverages, we are having 24 cents for the beverage as cost. Also, as a rule of thumb, it's between 18 and 20% for liquor. It's between 10 to 15% per, for carbonated beverages. Now, in order to calculate the food and beverage cost, it's the total cost of sales divided by the total sales. So here it's 31.5%. The third cost that we have to monitor, it's labor cost. And it includes all salaries of the employees necessary to run the business, including taxes and benefits. And usually it's the second highest cost, cost category. So what we're having here, <clears throat> salaries and wages, plus employee benefits okay, divided by the total sales. Usually, this cost, it's between 30 and 35%. However, in limited service restaurants where I don't need too much skills for the employees or the service, it might be less than this, like 25 to 30%. Finally, we're having the overhead cost, and it includes all expenses that are neither food, beverage, nor labor, and cannot be immediately associated with the production or the service being offered. So here, the overhead, it's the total of occupancy, interest, and depreciation divided by total sales. So here it's 18.2%.
So these are the main forecasts that we have to monitor always, especially when we're talking about the food and beverage cost and the labor cost, because they represent, like here in this case, like 61%. 61.5%. Finally, if I want to see my profit, the percentage of profit before income tax, it's my profit, the rest in profit, divided by total sales. It means for every $100 that I'm earning as revenue, I can earn profit of $8.30. Some, as, some other measures for productivity that any restaurant manager can use. It's the first one, sales per seat per year. So here, the total sales that we're having, okay, it's 500,000, and we're having the number of seats for this restaurant, it's 70. It means every seat in this restaurant is earning $7,142 per year in revenue. Then something also that we have to watch and it might categorize our restaurant, it's the average check. It means how much in average every customer is paying. So it's the total sales that we're having divided by the number of customers or number of covers that we served. So this restaurant, the average check is 24.46, around $25. So each customer that is coming to this restaurant, he pays or she pays in general $25. Then in order to check for the productivity of our servers, we have the average sales per server, per server. So it's the total sales divided by the number of servers per shift. So here every night, okay, we are having four. So we multiply it by 365. We're having an assumption that this restaurant, it doesn't close, it's always open all the week. So every server per shift, he can earn, or he's earning, $342. Thank you for watching this video. We will have other videos in the future. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel.